In Matthew 7, verses 21, Jesus said, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. I'm David Trujillo, pastor of Calvary Chapel, South Los Angeles. And this is your K-Wave devotional of the week. When I was a child, I grew up in a Christian home. Doesn't mean that I was a true Christian. In fact, I participated in a lot of things that the, that the church was, was, was inviting us to do. And even though I grew up, I distanced myself from that religion. But all this time while I was in the world, I actually thought that I was right with God. I would pray before I sinned. But as I began to grow up and, and finally I got invited to go to church, they gave an altar call, which I responded to. Responding to the altar call, at that moment, little did I realize that I was giving my life to the Lord. And I remember telling God, Lord, I don't know, you know, what else to expect other than God, you know, come into my life, change me, and I will serve you. And God did that. From that point on, I began to do a lot of things for the Lord, but now understanding that it was the Spirit of God that was doing it through me as He was working in me. But one of the things that I've learned is that being around many Christians, I saw there were some that were on fire, and then I saw some that they weren't. And it got me thinking, especially when I came across that passage, because I realized in that passage that Jesus was talking about Judgment Day. And on Judgment Day, how many were going to come to him and begin to say things like, Lord, you know, I've cast out demons, I made miracles. I mean, these were people who were active in the church. People who, who you will see, you immediately would think that, oh man, these people know God based on what the things that they were doing. But here Jesus tells us that these individuals that were active in the church actually didn't have a relationship with God. And then he tells it that he's going to turn to him and says, depart from me for I never knew you. That's a serious thing if you think about it. You can be active in the church and not know God. In other words, you can know about God and be motivated by the things of God and still not have a relationship with Him. That's why it's important that we examine ourselves and that we make sure that we're right with God. Because if we don't, it can cost us eternity. But God loves you guys so much, man, that He sent His only begotten Son, and He tells us that if we place our faith and trust in Him, He's going to give us eternal life. But there's more to just giving us eternal life. I want you to think about this for a second. The Bible says that every sin will be forgiven. That means past, present, and future. Everything will be done away with it. The Bible says that He will then declare us righteous. We'll have a righteous standing before God, and I love that. Because when God declares us righteous, we, we, won't, we can add to our righteousness or subtract from our righteousness. Automatically, He makes us righteous because we place our faith and trust in Him, which allows us now to have a relationship with Him. This relationship with Him grows as you spend time with Him in the Word of God. So I want you guys to make sure that you know God. Because like the Bible says, there's a heaven and there's a hell. And I will hate for you to hear those words. Think about the Creator of the world in Christ looking at you. And with the, you know, with probably tears in his eyes, tell you, depart from me. It's going to be our mistake because we knew, because the reality is only we, us, and God knows what's in our heart. And you know whether you're right with God or not. And I hope you are. So if you're not sure, I encourage you, talk to God. Ask him to come into your life. Place your faith and trust in him. And I guarantee you, man, God will do that work in you. I'm David Trujillo, pastor of Calvary Chapel, South Los Angeles. And this has been your K-Wave devotional of the week.